From parts of space living on our heads to our galaxy turning into something completely different in the future, these are some astonishing discoveries in space that will blow your mind. We're all fascinated by how massive the universe is. It's almost scary. Everyone wants a taste of the outer world, but some of us aren't lucky enough. What if I told you that you're already a part of space in ways you didn't know? Each day, Earth is bombarded by a huge amount of material from space. Now, this could either be a huge meteor, which we could all see and probably not make it out alive, or it could be tiny particles like space dust. Like usual dust particles, space dust isn't visible to the naked eye, even if it's thousands crumpled together. The interesting part is that around 5,200 tons of space dust land on Earth each year. Do the math, and you get 14 tons a day. That's almost 31,000 pounds of dust a day. You must be wondering what this dust is made of in the first place. Don't worry, it's not the type that collects under your beds. Space dust is actually made up of really small bits of rock and metal that break off from asteroids and comets during collisions. They can also be made from tiny space rocks. In fact, 80% of this dust comes from comets that orbit Jupiter and complete their rounds in less than 20 years. How cool is that? The size of the dust is just a fraction of a millimeter, so no, you can't see them without a dope microscope. But get this, whenever you're outside, there's a good chance of you catching some of the dust in your hair. There's probably some on your scalp right now, in between all that dandruff. Who knows? Maybe you'll step on a few heaps on your way to the store today. Now, that's what I call a carbon footprint. Lucky for us, our footprints just whoosh away with the wind. But get this, the Apollo astronauts' marks on the moon will stay for millions of years to come. Why's that? Well, space doesn't really have an atmosphere, nor wind, nor water, to erode the footprints on the moon with dust or whatever. The Earth, on the other hand, has all of that, which is why you don't see your footsteps in the snow the next day. But Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin's footprints aren't the only things that will be on the moon forever. Any prints left by the Apollo space shuttle are there to stay too. On a more extreme note, the Earth undergoes earthquakes that can prove to be disastrous. You'd think that the moon couldn't go through one, but guess what? Moonquakes very much exist. These seismic tremors are usually very light and not as harsh as the ones here on Earth. The average magnitude ranges between 2.4 and 4.1 with the highest one on the Richter scale touching between 5 and 5.7. So, to sum things up, if you plan on going to the moon and making space angels, chances are people a million years from now will be able to see them. Moving on to things that are a bit more advanced, in a recent discovery in 2023, scientists identified the most intense and powerful explosion witnessed in a galaxy. The explosion's light has been traveling to us for a whopping 8 billion years. The explosion was spotted by the Zwicky Transient Facility in California and the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in Hawaii. So, this was a pretty big deal for the space nerds out there. The event was given a complicated name, like most space stuff. So, here's my attempt at reading it. AT2021 LWS. It sounds like something Elon Musk would name his baby. Now your typical exploding stars fade in a matter of weeks or months, but astronomers believe that this one was not a result of such an event. Instead, they think it's a supermassive black hole, devouring an immense cloud of gas. This cloud is potentially a thousand times more massive than the sun. Astronomers and scientists usually refer to these events as tidal disruption events. Here's where the sciency part comes along. The gravitational tidal forces of the black hole rip open the gas cloud unleashing shockwaves and an insane amount of energy. Looking forward, astronomers are more than excited about finding more events like this one. These things are incredibly rare, but they're just as important in helping us understand how the centers of galaxies change over time. But this explosion was very far away from us. Want to know a fun fact about something closer to you than you may think? As expected, space is full of space junk. This trash includes stuff like used rocket parts and dead satellites. And of course, the pollution orbits the most populated planet in the solar system, Earth. Space junk orbits Earth at around 17,500 miles per hour. To put things in perspective, that's about 10 times as fast as a speeding bullet. Organizations like the Space Surveillance Network keep track of how much debris is out there and, more importantly, who's responsible for it. Is Superman throwing his garbage bags directly towards the sun? Or did the aliens find their new dump site? As of now, the SSN is tracking around 23,000 objects in the pile of space junk. And get this, these objects are larger than a softball. Imagine something bigger than a softball, and racing around Earth at a speed 10 times faster than a bullet. But space junk isn't dangerous to incoming astronauts. 
They say that one collision could trigger a chain reaction of other objects hitting each other. This would lead to a thick cloud of debris and garbage that would make traveling to space very dangerous. Remember Gravity? Yeah, that movie was pretty much warning us of what could happen to astronauts out there. Space isn't the calm, clean, and peaceful place we thought it was. It's actually full of a ton of different materials, both discovered and undiscovered. Now, what if I told you that you could go to outer space and come back rich? I'm not talking about moon rocks, which are valued at around a million dollars per half a pound. I mean silver and gold that are born after dead stars crash into each other. Neutron stars collide, and a crazy amount of precious materials are released and spread for no one to retrieve. But this doesn't mean someone can wait for neutrons to collide and scoop out these valuable elements. When neutron stars collide, the energy released is even more intense than what happens in a supernova. Sorry for another physics lesson, but it gets cooler. During these collisions, something called the R-process nucleosynthesis occurs. The reaction here has extreme temperatures, which pressures the atomic nuclei to snatch up neutrons at a rapid pace. Let's go back to basic chemistry. What happens when more neutrons are put into an atom? The atomic number increases. What happens then? We get heavy elements. So, don't think for a second that these collisions produce even more junk to orbit our Earth and make it dangerous to explore space. They're making the good stuff. Silver has an atomic number of 47, gold at 79, and platinum at 78. These elements are huge assets to your net worth. I guess you can say the cosmic kitchens are cooking real good. Okay, I have one more cool fact left in the tank. So, in about 4.5 billion years, the Milky Way we all know and love is set to have a galactic rendezvous with our closest neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. See, I told you that these space names get weird. The massive celestial collision you'd see in a Marvel movie won't be the one you expect it to be. Both the Milky Way and Andromeda are on a course to meet. But it won't be the end of the world. There is no huge universe-shattering explosion here, so nothing to worry about. That is, if you live for 4.5 billion years, it's more like a cosmic dance. Instead of crashing and burning, these two will bloop into one colossal galaxy, forming a giant elliptical shape. Scientists have already named the future Mega Galaxy. We're all waiting for the arrival of Milkamita or Milkdromeda. Another cool thing about Milkamita is that our sun will be a part of it too. With a star as massive as that ball of flames, you'd worry about colliding stars and exploding planets, right? Fret not. The space between stars is so huge that the chances of them physically colliding during the mega-galactic collision are super low. Again, if you manage to be alive in the next few billion years, the night sky will look a bit different. It'll be prettier to look at. Oh, this all depends on whether we can keep the Earth inhabitable. Climate change is stopping our great-great-great-grandchildren from living in Milkamita. Don't think these were the only facts about space, because astronomers have discovered a ton of more information, and it gets cooler each time. And so, from our galaxy turning into something completely different in the future, to parts of space living on our heads, those were some astonishing discoveries in space that will blow your mind.